The other day I modeled these military style canteens and I decided I wanted to add to this uh, basic scene by modeling this uh, army uh, angled uh, flashlight. All right, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not providing any reference images. You can uh, search uh, for this thing, even just searching for army flashlight or Fulton uh, angled flashlight. And uh, this is um, a kid's model, but I, it's, a, it's a great picture, but there's various other ones. I'm also not sure if I'm going to be modeling this in parts or as one piece. We'll see. What I'm going to do uh, right now is I'm going to work on the head region, which is probably the most challenging, but it's, it's not very difficult to do. Uh, all right, so I'm going to come to a new layer in Blender here. And from the top view, I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere, and I'm going to use 12 for the segments and 6 for the rings. Go into Edit Mode and Wireframe, and I'm going to B to border select or box select and delete that. From three, from the side view, I'm going to delete these vertices here. So I'm just left with that. All right, still within edit mode, I'm going to go shift A and bring in a cylinder, 12 vertices, pull it down a little bit, and you can see how my vertices are nicely matching up, and that's going to be important for what we're going to want to do. Before going any further, I'm going to go shift D, rotate X90, and I'm going to bring this copy up, slide it across, and you can also see that these vertices could line up. All right, so I'll work on that one second. This one, uh, I'm going to grab one of these vertices, Control L, to get what's linked. So I get the whole thing, and I'm just going to position this a little bit more. So GZ, bring it up. Okay, and with it pretty close, I'm going to start uh, merging some vertices. All right, so I'm going to be box select these ones and I'm going to go Alt M, just merge it center is fine. Box select these ones, merge it center. I'm just going to be going around doing this, just making sure that you don't uh, grab any other vertices, you just get the ones that you want. Alt M, merge it center. Deselect, box select, uh, Alt M, merge it center. And then the side here. Merge it center. Okay, so we got those. Uh, let's go back into solid view for a second and uh, get rid of these uh, faces, which is something I should have done earlier. Okay. And all the cylinders. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, grab a piece of this. Control L. We'll go back into wireframe and vertex. And look from the side and position this a little bit better. Okay, GZ and GY. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to join these. Box like there, Alt M, merge it center. And we'll just go down the sides. Okay, that's that side done. Okay, join together. Okay, so what I'll do now uh, to I want to uh, merge these interior vertices. So I'm going to bring in an edge loop. I'm just going to put it right there. That's great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and just pull it down a bit, and this one just pull it down. And I'm going to go uh, to this one and I'm going to go Alt M. I'm going to say merge it last merge it last so it'll take this vertex and that one merge it the second one that I click on okay so that's that side and that right <clears throat> okay and now looking from the side I'm going to take this vertex and I, I want to sort of straighten it uh, but I don't want to just pull it like 
to, in the Y, it'll change the curvature. So I'm gonna go GG for edge slide, and I'm gonna pull it until it looks pretty vertical, just like that. That's good enough. And, I'll, and uh, control three is the other side. I'll do the same thing on this. It doesn't have to be exactly equal or anything. And uh, I'm just not sure about these ones. Let's we'll try and see if it ch changes much. I think I could probably straighten that a little bit. And I just want to make sure that I haven't lost my roundness. Okay. And then I'm going to take these vertex and vertices. I'm just going to pull them back roughly in line with that one. And then I'm going to shift alt and click these ones. And I'm going to pull them in. Close to the close to the body. Okay. Now uh, I'm just about ready. Uh, no, I'm not. Actually, just before I do that. Uh, oh, gee, I went back a little bit far, didn't I? All right. Let's see uh, how our history is working. That's fine. I can, I can, I can go ahead and do that. I think I want to take these vertices here as well and uh, merge at last these ones yeah I think that'll be uh, a little bit nicer and I'll click that one to there and that one to there yeah that's fine Let's try adding a subdivision surface. Okay, let's smooth it. There we go. Okay, so there's that piece there. And um, if we look from the side on this one, let's, uh, let's have a look at the top here. Uh, there's this disc-like structure here coming out. I don't know that I'm going to push it back into the body completely, but we'll see. Let's try to have a look at this one here. All right, so we need to come out, sort of round out. So let's let's just work on that. Let's uh, see what we can do here. Uh, grab that edge and I'll try to come back a little bit further. And let's just go ahead and ES. I'll pull it forward a bit more. And let's let's extrude outwards and see where we're at. I'm gonna have to keep going back and forth. All right, and this is not gonna be exactly. Let's scale that out a bit more. We'll come out a bit more. Just have a quick look at that. Now, if I do it in that position, how's that? Or can I grab the whole thing and yank it back? Let's see. So I'm going to select shift alt and click that um, edge and control plus a few times. And um, what if I do one more time? See how far back I can go. And see if I like it. And if I still have room to put a quick, a quick edge loop in there. Sharpen that up just a little bit. I could probably live with that. Okay. All righty. So, comes out and then it probably goes in just a little bit. And well, let's have a look at the uh, split up piece. Okay, and then there's some thread and then I guess that black piece is part of one of these or it's, a, or it's a separate piece I'm not quite sure so um, we will do this we will shift alt and click that edge and we're going to hit uh, E and S come in a little bit 
and then I'm going to make room for that black piece. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to extrude out. Say the black piece of plastic or rubber goes there. So let's, uh, let's just sharpen that up a bit. Let's see what that looks like. It looks fine. It doesn't have to look exactly like the flashlight in the picture. I'm just make a, a cool looking uh, army flashlight. All right. And then the next thing is, and then it's got a bunch of thread and that piece would fit over it or, or, or this one. And then that one's the end piece or fit under it or whatever. Um, actually, it looks like this piece would fit next, doesn't it? Because that would go onto the thread. Huh. No, on the other hand, I think it is this one, this one, this one, and then that one at the front. Okay. Uh, in other words, so if we look at this, <clears throat> we got that black piece, then we have this, and then we have the, the the smaller piece that's more rounded with the hole in it. So uh, we'll do we'll do some of this. It's basically just extruding straight, but coming out again a little bit. You know, see what I'm saying? I'm talking about. So there's a little indentation there. And then what I'll do is I'll just do this, and I'm not going to concentrate on it too much. I can go. I can do this in wireframe, I suppose. E and S. I can come out to like. We'll come out to about there. E, and let's just send it out a ways. That can all be adjusted, right? Like that. <clears throat> and we'll put the the, uh, the the plastic, the black part, uh, inside here in this area here. And I'm not certain about that. I might be sharpening this up. I'm just, uh, just thinking about it. All right, so to make that, uh, I think what I'll do is um, I'm gonna shift alt and click these polys right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use those. So I'm gonna go shift D and P and break them out as a new object. And I'll bring my origin there to that piece. Shift S, cursors, not that. Shift S, I keep clicking too fast, cursor selected. So I've got that and I'm gonna turn off the subdivision surface for the moment. And uh, so there it is. Let's, let's scale it out, but not in the Y. So S, Shift, Y, let's bring it out a bit. And then E to extrude and then we'll just uh, Alt S to bring it in. And um, we'll have a look with subdivision surface. And I'll flip the polys, control N, and then we'll sharpen it up. And I might make it a bit wider anyhow. In fact, I think I will. I think I'll do that right now. Scale, shift, Y, bring it out. I can hold shift so that it's not as extreme. Let's sharpen that up with an edge loop over to the side here and over to the side there. Not too sharp, but you know. And I might want it to come out a bit more actually. Not too much though, so let's scale shift Y and pull out a bit. It's like, is that, that good? All this can be adjusted and maybe maybe even centered a bit better or just pulled over a bit. Okay, cool. All right, that's, that's fine for now. And um, yeah. Okay, so I'd, I'd have, um, this piece, that black piece, and then and then this section, and we'll do this in a bit. And then this piece, I guess, screws on, and it, I guess it looks like it's around the same diameter. Um, I can't really tell from this, this one. Uh, same kind of thing here. Just another view of the, the, the kid's uh, toy, the replica one. And there's a real one there. It look, pretty much looks like the same diameter, but we do want to see um, a, a, a break of it. Now, I'd like to go back and see if that was that piece, does it have, where's the thread? And how does it connect? Okay, so the, so it goes in and then there's thread that, th that, that these grooves would go into. So this part would attach to here. So, right after like the band, eh? Let me think about this for a second. Because what I could do if I wanted to is I could take an edge here, Shift D and uh, uh, I'll make it a new object just to make it simpler. 
All right, so, so I could do this. I could make this narrower, put some thread on it, and then build the second part out of that. Make sure I know what I'm talking about here. I could do this stuff here. And then I could build this separate. I kind of feel like doing that. So I want to indent it further. And then I got that black ring. What do I do about that? Maybe I'll leave it on. Maybe I'll leave that on and I take this and I'll grab, what have I got? Mm. Would that be enough? Let's find out. Scale shift Y. Let's just have a look at that. I can sharpen that up. I can even, th I can thicken the ring as I look at it. I might want to. And then I make some thread and then I got the original diameter right here. I'm kind of thinking about going that route. Let's take this edge loop and pull it in there to make that a bit crisper. Now that I think about it, Let's take this and hide that. That almost looks like the black band right there. I could just color that black. Let's keep that hidden for now. Let's go ahead and make some thread on this. Where would it be and how many? Like one, two, three, or am I counting the shadows? One, two, three, four, three or four. Anyhow, so two, three, like that, let's say, and uh, let's scale them in the Y, pull them down there. And the way I would do this, I, was, I would go Control B, and I'd make an area like that, and then I'd extrude them E, Scale, Shift, Y, and I would pull out a little ways. Let's have a look at that. And I would have that. And then I could... Uh, I guess I could put in edge loops and just in between, not too tight. I like I like it when it's a little bit rounded. It may not look completely sort of technical, but I, it's got a more pleasing look to my eye. Yeah, I like that. And um, and then we'd have the other piece. It's the first time making this, so I'm not I'm not sure. We're just thinking about this. All right, so then we'll go in a bit, and I would uh, I would put maybe I guess I'd put solidify on. And just what about the band? Let's let's bring back the band and see if there's uh, if we want to use it or not. Okay, so let's um. Let's do this. Can I hide that and take this? Let's take off the subdivision surface. And um, select just the inner part. Scale shift wise. Give it a bit more thickness. Even if it pushes in, I don't care. Bring that back. Sub D back on. Perhaps smoothing on this. That's all right. I could leave that there. And uh, if I do it this way, then um, maybe I would just put on solidify, bring it above the sub D and try a 0 0.2. Um, Before I apply it, if I do apply it, I'll just do this. A little bit less, maybe. You're not going to see much of this anyhow, because I have those other pieces most likely on top. It'll probably maybe I'll do a, uh, an expanded view, you know, where they're broken apart. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not going to apply that yet. I'm not going to apply it. Okay, so what are we doing here? I'm going to slide this back a bit. And we... Are, okay, so if that's the case, then 
this expanded area attached screws on there so that those the threading I see here not threading but uh, this stuff is kind of almost over the thread the thread is you know there and there and there and then it extends a bit more so I just need a piece that's like that long however long that is so all right let's go back in animal let's select this E and let's just let's just do that okay uh, select it all in control and flip the uh, polys and put on smoothing and just think about this for a second let's say that was bad so that screws on there <clears throat> all right I can build this separately I can do that um, <clears throat> let's add let's add this stuff here all right there's different ways of doing this you can do it with the spin tool but I'm going to do it with a curve sometimes spin works great for me sometimes it doesn't and I, I couldn't tell you why uh, what I'm going to do is it should be pretty symmetrical so I'm going to I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right in the middle. Well, I don't know if I was in the middle of that. So I'm going to set origin to geometry and shift S cursor to select. It should be right in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is, I want to do it as a curve. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to take an edge. I'm not sure I have to do it this way, but shift D, P to make it a new object. And I'm going to convert that edge, Alt C, convert it to a curve. In fact, I think I will set the origin to that and the 3D cursor to that. Okay, I hope it's not too confusing. All right, I'm now going to bring in a, well, what do you want to use? I like to use plane. I'm going to pull it out to the side here, look down on it. And let's shape this. Let's get, make it really thin, really small. And bring it in. And smaller than that. Let's, uh, we'll scale this in the X a bit. And I'm going to take that in. I'm going to make it longer. Oh, yeah, I don't want this too, too long. It's, it's going to be about half the size of this. Okay, let's give it a bit of thickness. All right, let's zoom in the period key. E. And bring it up to about there. And I want this back side here uh, gone. So I'm going to select that and delete that, those faces. Um... Hmm, let's set origin and geometry for that. And I, I think we can we can always bevel this later. Let's, let's actually pull it out to here. All right, as if the position. And let's array this in the in the X. You know, let's give it a bit of distance. We can change all this. Give it a nice count. We'll have to add some more of that. And we'll see about beveling in a bit. So there's my array on it. And this is my curve right here. All right, so I'm going to select this and I'm going to add a curve modifier. And for my that, I'm going to choose that. And as you can see, we already have it started. So then you just play with the axes until you get the right one. Let's go ahead and up the count. As you see, coming around. But we're going to, I may have to scale this a bit. Let's, let's go one less for now. Uh, I just want to look at the positioning of this. Now it's not casting a lot of light or reflecting a lot of light and so actually before I do anything else I think I will add oh you're gonna kill me when I do this well it didn't jump up that much actually all right let's just dial that back a bit until it starts to look a little bit more natural now what if I smooth as well nah I don't like the smoothing Okay, let's, um, okay, Z is going to bring it out. How's that? Do we want to try two? Yeah, that casts a lot more light. Okay, my polys go up, but that's all right. Something like that, eh? Okay, so where's my, where's it end? It ends there. So let's try in the array not that one where is the array there it is Let's try adding one more yeah it looks good one more seems to work and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and apply everything and apply that and I'm even going to apply the bevel 
And now I can actually get rid of that circle if I can select it. And I can take this and position it wherever I want to. And I'll be reusing this as well. All right, and so thinking now, thinking is good. We're looking at this piece. I'm making it harder than it needs to be. I mean, normally I would just take this and say, okay, that's, that's where that would be. But if it is supposed to join, then really it should come down to a smaller diameter. Uh, or no, no, it doesn't come to a smaller diameter. How does this come together again? <laughs> Uh, oh, it's wider here. Yeah, it's wider and it goes on then it goes smaller to fit onto that one So that's what we're gonna make right I want to double check on another one So then it's wide here with that and then it gets smaller and to go under this one, right? Okay <laughs> I'm not exactly an engineer. So but yeah, this is fine. Okay, so let's do this. So let's get into edge selection Let's grab this E and S, and I don't know yet how um, narrow it should be, so uh, I'm not worried about that. I can work on that. Bringing an edge loop there, bringing an edge loop here. Um, okay. Yeah, you know what? There is something that I like to do whenever I do these things. I like to make an indent. On both sides I just feel it looks better I, I'm gonna think about that and I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean by that in a bit um, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter how narrow I make this as long as like the threads come up and there's still a good amount of space right okay maybe it does have to be narrower than that so I'll take that edge and I'll uh, control plus until I get to the end, scale shift Y, and I should be able to scale it down. All right, and then the idea would be I would make more thread. I might just make another three. Control uh, three edge loops there, and I'll scale them in the Y just a bit, though. And then they're not going to be the exact same. Control B. I'll just try to get them kind of similar. Yeah, like that. E, scale shift Y, I think it is. Pull them out and has to have a look. Yeah, okay. All right, then in that case, why am I talking with an accent? I don't have an accent. I maybe have a Canadian accent. I don't know, do I? I got an Ottawa Valley accent. There we go. Now, do I want that sharper? Let's find out. Yeah, probably uh, a little bit anyhow. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is I'll just throw an edge loop here and I'll bring it up. Not too much though. I like, I like the softness of it. That might be too soft there. Maybe another, I need another edge loop coming down. So there's no thickness on this yet. Yeah, back to this stuff. What I was thinking was, I'll show you what I was thinking. I was thinking of an edge loop there, and one right about there. And I was thinking of selecting both, just basically doing what I just what I just did. Uh, Control B, just a little bit, and then E, scale shift Y, and pushing it in. do okay well what I'll do is I'll, I'll hide that and then I'll work on this and uh, hopefully this is what we like it's got a little hard to get back from this we're just throwing in edge loops like like they're nothing and they are nothing okay so seeing what I'm seeing oh, geez, are you 
you're seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, it arrayed them on their side. It arrayed them on their side and, and around the curve. And, um, you know, like, uh, that's why it wasn't looking as good as I wanted it to. Well, we're going to need to fix that. I wonder if I can select all of them. I doubt it. Individual origins. No way. No way. Saved. Saved. Uh, I love it. That's what I wanted. That's why it wasn't looking right to me. And I was really, it was bumming me out. And I, I couldn't figure it out. I didn't want to say anything to you guys. And that was why. Now, could they be closer together? Yeah, sure, but that's great. Ah, that's great. Okay, so individual origins uh, was what helped me out there a lot. All right, what if I put on now my... Um, well, here's a quick way. What have I got on here? I've got, I've got the same thing. So uh, take this and then shift and click that and then go control L, is it? And choose modifiers. And it'll put the same modifiers on there. And then I can just come, on, come into this one. And I can put an edge loop here. And I may need edge loops when I, if, if and when I apply that with solidify. I'll do that. Let's see how these pieces are looking. Is this piece actually supposed to slide over top of that? Oh, it's so tight. It would never go over the thread. In which case... Okay, so what I would do... I say I do want them the same approximate diameter, so I have to uh, let's see. Do I have to do that? I have to make it thinner. So it looks like it would come on. Maybe even thinner. I don't want too thin, but that's that's the way it's gonna have to go, right? Yeah. Hmm. Or, or the diameter I'm talking about is set by this and this not by this, and so I take it back. Watch what I'm gonna do. One, 0 0.15, let's go back to 0 0.1, 0 0.15 on that guy, and say, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We're coming all the way back to you. All the way back to the beginning to not quite that far uh, and yeah might be one one too far no I don't think it is and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale shift Y this scale shift Y and make it smaller let's look let's try looking wireframe I don't know what I'm looking at there I honestly don't. <laughs> uh, that's not helping me at all. That's helping me though a little bit. Scale shift Y and hold shift. Let's not go too crazy. Let's just try that. I'm not gonna worry about the band right now. I just wanna see how this would fit if she would. Oh, almost my friend and I still am up 
Mm -hmm. Can I just back? No, I'm gonna do that. Can I go back into edit mode? Well, just all right. I'm just gonna have to do that again. I want to go a little bit further. Uh, yeah, I want to go under there. I should really be getting rid of that band. All right. Scale shift Y, hold shift when we come down a bit more. Oops. All right, let's hide this. Get out of there, you. Take this and this and see. Okay, so now it would fit and it would come into to like that position and then there'd be the band with H. Okay, so let's take these, bring them back. And this guy will just make it make it fit. Okay, so we'll uh, let's turn off sub these for a second, and let's get all those and we'll bring them back on though. And I'm just gonna Alt S and I'm gonna bring it almost till it touches that, and that, or just like that. Oops, Hold Shift, something like that. And I think probably does need it. Need that. Okay. Well, that was cool. Oh, well, that, that could work. All right, so this piece and this piece go on here. How long are we doing this tonight? Let's, we'll go a little bit further. We'll do the next piece, and then I, I think we'll call it quits. All right, so we're going to do this front piece here, which has got... It could be, I think it can be all the same diameter, but it's got those little tick things and it's nicely rounded, but it's just like that. It's open. And uh, this area here. All right. Same diameter. Okay. That's what we're going to do. So how to get it the same diameter? Well, come into this guy. Steal one of the edges that are the outer diameter. Shift D, move it out. P to make it a new object. Now, it's done that because I have Solidify on it. No, what am I doing? Make sure you select the right thing. Get rid of Solidify, okay? So this, set origin of geometry and Shift S cursor to select it. This has the same diameter as that. All right, so if I want to make something, I just know that that's got to be the, the diameter of it. Um, it's round, yeah, <laughs> just double checking that. Um, yeah, all right, so. Um, It is important how far the thread came down on that. Okay, well, here's what, I'm just thinking a couple of things. Uh, I'm gonna select it, E, and then make a piece. This one's not too big, all right? So it's, it's about, it's, uh, it's just a little bit less than the length of that. That's fine like that. So let's say that would slide in like that. Um, let's see. Let's uh, shift and uh, click on that. Control L and modifiers. I think it's moving. Um, thinking if it's all the same width I don't think this thread is going to make contact with this in mine you know like if this is if this is uh, slid back in here you know it's miles from there what do I have uh, yeah that's, that's up there eh? I feel like for this one what I would have to do is 
it's only one layer really. I, I would have to um, come in. I know that seems strange right now. Here, let's just do this. That's behaving weirdly because of the... That's not what we wanted to do. So let's not do it like that. Let's uh, take that off for the moment. And let's do that again. Let's make sure that I don't have any doubles. Good, okay. E, Alt S. Let's uh, let's go in this way. So control N, flip, and then we'll do this. It's essentially like putting on solidify, isn't it? Okay. So first of all, um, did -dum, did -dum, did -dum. have to take these and, and uh, bring them in that much. Well, it is quite rounded. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And I'm not even going to do solidify on this one. I think I'm going to do that. I'll do more on this, but hang on. I'm making it up a little bit, I admit. I am, but it's fun to do. So this one has grooves, right? And they may not even be in the same position at all. We're just we're just having fun here. All right, so we'll do it like this. I'll make the holes. E scale shift Y, and I'll pull out right so that it's indented. Let's have a look at that. And uh, I'm off the beaten track now. Maybe I could have just gone inside here. Okay, right, let's take off the subdivision surface. It makes it a little bit easier to see what, what, what we're doing. We'll just do this. I can do them on the other side as well. Just want to get a sense of what I'm doing here. Yeah, okay. Maybe I don't need to do more work on that if that's the general idea. So the idea is that it sort of slides over and screws in. Nah. It's not exactly accurate, but um, how off the off the mark is that? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It is pretty. It is pretty thick, isn't it? All right. But you know what? Maybe a little bit more rounded here, right? Eh? So let's try uh, pulling these back and see if that helps us out. No, not particularly. So what we'll do is uh, just uh, let's dissolve that edge. And we'll think about that and think if that's the right the right effect we want. Mm. Okay, I will need actually an edge loop here. I take it back uh, because where's that stuff? This stuff here is close to the front. So I'm gonna do this. How close to the front? Okay, uh, kind of after the curve. Yeah, about there. And so what I was thinking of doing was I'm gonna copy this over in a minute. And then I want a decent amount. Yeah, yeah, like basically like that. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take these, control B, just give them a small, and smaller than that, like that. E scale shift Y, let's push them in. Let's get that going. Tighten them up a bit, not too much. Yeah, like that. Just got 
those little grooves and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it over and set our geometry shift as cursor selected and all that kind of stuff and then we're going to scale this in the Y Yeah, okay, well anyways, that kind of thing. So that that piece and that piece would go on there. And if it were, well, that's roughly how it would go. And I don't want to sharpen anything up there. All right, well, that's okay. What do you think? Is that okay? I like it. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's passable. Anyhow, and then of course there's other uh, pieces that we'd uh, be adding to this. I'm not sure how crazy I want to go, but uh, we'll do some kind of bulb and stuff in it, and then we'll we'll work on the handle. So that's a very good start. So we'll leave it at that, and we'll come back to this.